Hey everybody, Reggae Franco 9 and I have some spicy chocolate bars here to review. This is from CalgroveChocolates.com. Um, what these are are solid chocolate bars and uh, individual they're two dollars and fifty cents each and uh, they have spicy these are all spicy but they also sell non-spicy um, this is gonna be the order I'm gonna do them in spicy almond spicy raspberry spicy toffee spicy mint spicy dark huckleberry and spicy dark lime tequila I'll take a little break between each one and just to clear my palate and then taste the next one so the first one is going to be the spicy almond and let's see here the ingredients are going to be dark chocolate uh, roasted almonds cocoa butter cayenne pepper uh, if you're allergic to soy or nuts um, make sure you stay clear from this let me see big old chocolate fix I got the golden ticket So what it, that's what it looks like. Just nice big squares. Man, I'm gonna be sugared out today. All right. Spicy almond. Okay, these four bars right here are truffle bars. Forgot, forgot to mention. That is fantastic. You get the crunch of the almond, crunch of the toffee, uh, truffle, I'm sorry. And then uh, that creaminess of that chocolate is really just like melts in your mouth. And then the heat sparks at the very, very end. And it's actually around the tongue pretty good um, this one on flavor I like this one I really like almond I really like truffle I'm gonna give this one a solid 7 out of 10 on flavor and it's gonna get a 1 out of 10 of heat okay the next one spicy raspberry Waited like a couple minutes between. I'm gonna do about two minutes between each one. Wash my mouth out. I really want to taste these. Uh, <clears throat> and taste them all. Taste uh, true flavor each one. Ingredients are gonna be sugar, cocoa mass, invert syrup, cocoa butter, coconut oil, glucose, raspberry juice, concentrate, whole milk powder, butter, oil, soy. Cayenne, pepper, natural flavors. Same thing with the uh, allergies. If you uh, allergic to soy or anything like that, be careful. So this is a spicy raspberry dark chocolate truffle bar. Looks the same as the other one. Well, this one's got like a little ribbon on it. Wow, you can really smell the raspberry. Woo! All right. That is fantastic. I forgot to mention, um, they've been on several 
uh, websites for reviews. They've been on TV shows like Unwrapped and Extreme Cuisine on Food Network. Um, have several awards. They make some damn good chocolate. That right there is amazing. The sweetness of the raspberry and the creaminess of the chocolate combined with that crunch of the truffle bar. Oh, man. This one's mine. I'm sharing these with my family, but <laughs> this one's mine. On flavor, honestly, I'd give this one a 9 out of 10. I'm digging this one a lot. And heat's going to be about the same. I, I kind of feel like I, I felt more on the almond, but it's about a 1. So that's the uh, raspberry. All right, next one. Spicy truffle. Pure milk chocolate truffle bar. So now we're going to the milk chocolate. Ingredients. Milk chocolate. Uh, let's see. Toffee. Sugar plum oil. Butter. Almond roasted in sunflower oil. Salt. Artificial flavors. Cocoa butter. Cayenne pepper. <laughs> this one's going to probably be good. Just straight toffee. Milk chocolate. I really like milk chocolate more than dark chocolate. It's my preference. Looks exactly the same. It's got lines on it this time. You get to kick a little bit faster with this one on the cayenne. More of a direct hit. That's that one's got more of a chili head um, kick to it. It's still still gonna be a one, um, but it's more predominant for some reason on this one. And the crunch is nice. The flavor, it's good. I'd give this one a 6 out of 10. Uh, if you uh, want a little more spice, which I'm getting on this one, the truffle is the one to, to uh, definitely check out. So that was the milk chocolate spicy truffle. Okay, the next one, spicy mint. This one, I'm not really a fan of, of chocolate mint, so... Uh, we'll see. <clears throat> Milk chocolate. Same ingredients. Coconut oil. Cayenne pepper. Pretty much the same ingredients as uh, the other ones. Okay. We'll see if they can pull this off. I see really don't care for mint chocolate too much it's refreshing I guess after a, a nice big steak dinner this would be a nice little uh, dessert. It's actually better than some mint chocolates I've had before. It's actually enjoyable. Uh, I'd, I'd give it a 6 out of 10 on flavor. The heat, it's kind of overpowered by that mint, uh, but it's still going to get a 1 because I still got that little burn. Okay. All right. Next one is going to be spicy dark huckleberry chocolate. So, chocolate bar. 
ingredients dark chocolate natural flavor citric acid whole huckleberries nice uh, high fructose corn syrup cayenne pepper and vegetable oil hmm huckleberry huh let's see how this tastes this is what it looks like kind of broken in half already sort of in just one big piece I see the pieces of the huckleberry all right Wow, <laughs> I believe I've never had huckleberry before. Very sweet. It's actually pretty damn good right there. The uh, the berries mixed with that dark chocolate. Sweet and heat, a little cayenne. That's not bad, I'd give this a seven out of 10. I'm, I'm liking those huckleberries. Um, and a one on heat. This is pretty All right, so the last one, spicy dark lime tequila. Actually, this is the one I wanted to try um, the most, so I saved it for last. See what it looks like before I break it up. Okay. Tequila lime. That is different, but it's a good different. You get that lime? Uh, I didn't read the ingredients today. Dark chocolate. Uh, it's got cayenne and lime, tequila oil, and artificial flavors. You get like a little, I guess you could call that a tequila taste. Um, at the end, definitely get the lime at front. And the creaminess of the dark chocolate it's actually not bad I'd say this one's a 7 out of 10 um, all in all all good chocolate I would say uh, if you want more of a burn to get the uh, spicy truffle and if you want to refresh your palate after maybe a nice heavy steak dinner or whatever the mint want to try something different Go with the huckleberry and my favorite of the uh, bunch is gonna be between the two this was my favorite was the raspberry and then followed by the almond very good and uh, the tequila is also not a bad one to go with all in all good product thank you head cowgirl for handing uh, handing this my way and uh, today's burning question, what is your favorite type of cake? Since we're on sweets, I like, there's two that I like. I really like German chocolate cake, and I really love me some carrot cake. But it's got to be an old-fashioned um, carrot cake. Can't be no crap from uh, your local market. What do you like? And until next time, keep it spicy.